Cayman Islands Premier Juliana Yvonne O'Connor Connolly was recently on the island to get a first-hand look at the extent of damage from Hurricane Beryl. The tour was part of a one-day visit to the island by Mrs. O'Connor Connolly, during which she presented a check for 200,000 U.S. dollars to Prime Minister Andrew Holness to assist with the country's relief and recovery efforts. The Premier, who has Jamaican ancestry, toured the fishing community of Rocky Point in Clarendon, which was among the worst affected areas following Beryl's passage, experiencing flooding as well as the damage and destruction of several homes and other structures. During a meeting with Prime Minister Holness, Cayman's Premier expressed relief that Jamaica was not more severely impacted by the Category 4 system. And I believe what happened with Jamaica, with the little dip to the south, and certainly to the Cayman Islands, was nothing short of a miracle. So I was especially delighted when I heard that your ports were pretty much up and going in your airport, because you will rise again. And I thought it was important not just to send this small token, which is only 200 US thousand dollars, which is just the widow's might, but I believe in a God who, when you have just a little bread and a little fishes, will multiply it, that when you have recovered, and you will, there'll be more than 12 baskets of remnants for you to pick up and show the rest of the world that, Miss Lou, you're strong, but you sell tallow up here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so if we are extremely, extremely appreciative that even as you're in the midst of your recovery process, that you took the time to grace us with your most warm and gracious welcome. Um, to Jamaica, it means a lot for us. And um, with your minister who will accompany us to see some of the damaged area, um, we've come from, I'm old enough now to remember that a picture is worth a thousand words. So although this was a quick trip, just to extend a small token of gratitude for your country and yourself, we want to bring a more fulsome um, Cayman Airways over, fill to the brim. Um, so when we go back, that's our job, McKeever and my, and my cabinet secretary. Um, he's already been informed that his sleep is going to continue to diminish each night, because we will return.